Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to the Material UI Crash Course. And in this video, we're gonna be covering the radio component, which is actually pretty cool. There's a lot of cool functionality in here. Uh, as you can see, we scroll down here, just some typical like radio input buttons. And if we get down a little bit further, we have color, sizing, placement. Then look here, we can actually do some little like quiz testing in here with all the UI built out for us. So I'm gonna show you that in this video. So let's go ahead and get into our project here. Um, if you haven't installed Material UI before, go ahead and watch the first video, which I'll link in the description. But let's go ahead and create a new input in here, okay? And I'm just gonna call this radio example example.jsx, just like that. RFC is just gonna get our functional component. So let's find our app.jsx. I'm gonna comment this one out and we'll go ahead and add in our radio example, just like that, okay? So we should just see the, our um, radio example plain text in there. So let's go ahead and see, there you go. So first off, let's go ahead and add in this like kind of this boilerplate code here, okay? So let's go ahead and look at the code. Uh, we're gonna need the radio, the radio group, um, the form control label, form control, and also uh, form label. So let's just go ahead and copy all of that over just to make it a little bit easier for us there. That's what developing is, guys. A lot of copy and paste. I hate to break it to you. Nobody's writing all this stuff out from scratch. Okay, so next, let's go ahead and I'm just gonna paste that in there. Okay, and you know what? I'm actually gonna leave that inside of the diff so we can add in some other uh, stuff too as well. So let's go ahead and remove that. So as you can see, there you go. You already have some labels here. They're already positioned for you. Uh, you just change here. We can change this. Gender, uh, are there two? genders um next let's say um name radio buttons group with the values here you can change the values uh the label here which is going to be corresponding to the value you always want to have those match so scrolling down you can also change the uh let's see here the colors if you want to change the colors the sizing with the size property let's see we can also change the placement here if we have a look at the placement looks like we just see row value top label placement top let's go ahead and copy that that's on the form control label so we'll just say just like that we'll save just label placement top you can see that changes the placement of the uh of the radio button so next let's scroll down so let's get to this part here this is pretty cool so um let's have a look at the code here so it does need some state so let's go ahead and copy over the state there um also going to have a function here handle radio change and then a handle submit. So let's just go ahead and copy over all of this right there. So kind of cool if you're building out like a little quiz application or something like that. So let's go ahead and copy that. I think that's gonna be everything we need here. So let's copy that and we'll paste that in here uh, just above the return there, okay? So next, let's go ahead and have this. I'm gonna grab the form here. I'm gonna copy that and we'll go ahead and paste it. We'll paste that right there. So let's go ahead and save. See, getting some errors here, import, export, radio example, I didn't put this in the right spot. Let's go ahead and get rid of that there. Move that up, we'll save. Um, we didn't import uState, so that's why it says react.uState, and basically just giving it a default value of uh, just an empty string. Let's go ahead and see what it does there. We'll go ahead and refresh. Form helper text is not defined, so let's go ahead and, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring in all of this stuff if we haven't done it already. Looks like we're adding a few things. Let's go ahead and save. Refresh, there you have it. We still have our male and female up here. Uh, now we have our quiz, which is pretty cool. Choose wisely. Pop quiz, MUI is the best. Ch answer, you got it. If it's not, sorry, wrong answer. And we actually get this dynamically changing the styles of our material UI. So pretty cool there. Let's see what else we can do. So that's kind of cool. Just all this functionality built in, um, just copying, pasting really. And just, I mean, it's already built in for you right out, right out the gate for you, just like that. So pretty cool right there. Um, so yeah, I think about that concludes the uh, radio UI smash like button. You guys, if you like got some value out of this, the next we're going to move on to the uh, next, we're going to move on to the rating example. So if you're ready for that, let's go ahead and get started.